the U.S. is experiencing massive population growth. Much of this growth is concentrated in cities. As our cities grow, they demand increasing amounts of natural resources, including land to build on and water to support human life and the landscapes we plant in our communities. Our nation's pressure on water resources is especially problematic. As suburbs expand into natural areas, they use much more water than the existing landscape did before them. Suburban growth or sprawl is magnified in the sunbelt areas of our country, namely the southeast and southwest, where a pleasant climate and an abundance of sunshine draws increasing numbers of people. These areas receive little rainfall and experience prolonged droughts, yet they have the most demand for water as populations in these regions swell. Evidence of increased demand for water can be found at Lake Mead, the nation's largest man-made reservoir. It serves as a storage tank for much of the water used in the southwest, Las Vegas especially. This enormous reservoir has declined to 50% capacity and scientists give it a 50% chance of dry, drying up by the year 2021. In order to meet demand for water, it is diverted hundreds of miles away from its natural sources in mountains, lakes, rivers, and aquifers to numerous cities and farms that sprawl across the dry regions of the U.S. Ecosystems are damaged by our uses of water as they wither away and dry up in its absence. In the case of the Colorado River, so much of its water is diverted, dammed, and consumed as the river runs its course that by the time it reaches its end in the Sea of Cortez, it is little more than a trickle, depriving sea life of desperately needed nutrients that would normally be carried there by the river. A serious problem lies in the wasteful ways we use water. One such example is creating non-native landscapes in the desert region. Carpets of green grass forming golf courses and lawns dot our brown desert landscapes. Golf courses are popular and many homeowners enjoy a pretty green lawn on their property. The problem is that these things require large amounts of irrigation to survive, especially in hot, dry areas. Every day, millions of suburban homes water their lawns. The amount of water used to do this and the evaporation and runoff that occurs during this watering causes waste and increases the pressure on our water supply. One way to help conserve water and ease pressure on the supply is to plant a garden of native plant species instead of a grass lawn. Native plants have evolved over millions of years to thrive in the desert areas we live in. They need little to no watering and could survive off the few rain showers the desert gets each year. Let's leave lawns in the regions where they can thrive naturally and embrace the beauty and efficiency of native desert landscapes. By planting native species on our properties instead of lawns, we can all help to save water for both nature and human life.